Whew. Is it just me or is it getting hot in here? Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we are headed to the world of Magic Legends. The good old developers from Cryptic Studios have officially dropped their May update which comes with a whole bunch of goodies. And the one we are really focused on is the new class, the Pyromancer. That's why I'm saying it's starting to feel hot in here because this character is all about the flames. And we're gonna talk about it and check out that trailer. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to support smaller channels. All right, let's jump right into this. Right now we are on the website MMORPG.com. Title this article, Magic Legends Receive Pyromancer in Today's Update. Yes, it was dropped today. And I'm going to play the trailer for you in a second. Just be patient. The Pyromancer is the latest planeswalker revealed in Magic Legends, but that is not all this update brings to the ARPG. Here are the details. The new Pyromancer class headlines the latest update for Magic Legends. Obviously, this class utilizes the red mana and it described as a ranged caster, which can deal damage from a distance, igniting the battlefield with reckless abandon. Reckless, ab reckless abandonment? Reckless abandon? I don't know. The new update also brings Story Act 4, Chasing Answers. This new act sees the Shadow Planeswalker you've been chasing having been traced to Benalia. It looks like Raul Zarik needs your help to confront the Planeswalker and get some long overdue answers. The performance upgrade is also included in this update with the team having upgrading the environment along with various optimizations on the software side of things to to increase performance. Additionally, more PC hardware configuration should see greater compatibility. What does that mean? Finally, more features are introduced to this update, like quality of life features. It also brings a random queue system for faster, faster party gathering. The new user experience sees some updates as well to enable deck building, better chat improvements, and more. Check out the trailer above, and we shall. Now, I do have to say, I have been feel I have been following Magic Legends in my weekly news roundups, and I've been kind of putting out there their weekend events and what they have been doing to work on this game. And I've already made a complete, I shouldn't say a complete, I've already made a kind of first impression review of this game, and it was not very favorable. But because of all these updates they are doing, I am going to give Cryptic Studios a second chance. And after I have rebuilt my decks and my builds for 0.8.2 for Last Epoch, which we are getting on Monday, I'm going to do an updated review on Magic Legends and see if the game has gotten any better. Better. But for now, what we are going to do is check out the class overview for the Pyromancer. Enjoy! Hey there Planeswalkers, I'm Adam McTaney, Design Lead for Magic Legends, and today I'm here to share some explosive details on the newest Planeswalker class, the Pyromancer. Harnessing the unbridled fury of red mana, the Pyromancer is a ranged caster class that quickly throws damage from a distance, igniting the battlefield with reckless abandon. The Pyromancer's ability kit allows you to deal ample damage up front in addition to lasting damage over time, with some mobility if the odds become overwhelming. The primary attack for the Pyromancer, Fire Blast, is a rapid fire projectile combo that explodes on impact, dealing splash damage. Upon unlocking the Immolation upgrade at class level 4, the second Fire Blast projectile also applies a stacking damage over time effect onto any enemy that it hits. Another explosive element of the Pyromancer's arsenal is the Incinerate secondary ability, which conjures a flare that erupts into a burning whirlwind, dealing upfront damage and setting targets on fire. Reaching level 10 will unlock the Ignite upgrade, which causes a hazard to remain at the whirlwind's location for a short time, igniting any enemy who passes through it. The utility ability of the Pyromancer is Alacrity of Blaze, a forward dash that deals damage to enemies that you move through. Unlocking the Trail of Flames upgrade at class level 15 causes Alacrity of Blaze to leave a hazard in your way, so any enemy who dares to follow you will be set aflame. At class level 30, you will gain access to the Pyromancer's signature trait, Finale of Flames, which causes any enemy affected by a damage over time effect to explode when defeated, dealing damage to other nearby enemies. The trait can be used in any class loadout once unlocked. 
Living Inferno is the Pyromancer's spark power, which can be activated after filling the spark meter during combat. This power replaces the fire blast attack with a flamethrower, reduces the cooldown and increases damage of Incinerate, and entirely removes the cooldown of Alacrity in Blaze. There will be two types of spells especially important to the Pyromancer. Spells that apply damage over time effects, and spells that have increased damage when hitting a target afflicted by damage over time effects. Since pure firepower is the name of the Pyromancer game, ideal loadout components included artifacts which grant effects tied to damage over time. Now that we've served up this red-hot overview of the Pyromancer class, you'll be ready to turn up the heat throughout the multiverse. Alright, so now you have seen the trailer, my opinion on it. I'm not going to say like, whoa, I'm blown away, I can't wait to get my hands on this character, but I'm also not going to say, oh, that looks like crap, I give it a normal, even rating. Not overly excited, I don't think it looks terrible. It is interesting though, when you see the combat sequences, it kind of looks like it has dual pistols, the way it shoots. I don't know if anybody ever caught that or think the same way as I do. I don't know. So this is the actual update, May 20th, 2021 update notes. And I'm not going to read through any of this, but I do want you to know that there is a lot more than just the Pyromancer class and Act 4. So you've got all the general fixes here, which I mean, there is a lot. You have the content, you have the systems, keep scrolling, scrolling. You have the UI, you have the store. Nobody cares about the store. Get that out of there the client, and then the server. So I will link this in the description below if you want to go read it for yourself. Now I have to say, I am very curious. Is there anybody out there that still considers Magic Legends their number one game? The game that they can't wait to get out of school or can't wait to get home from work, log in, and play. I want to know in the comment section below what you love about this game. And on the contrary, the people that played Magic Legends and decided to set it aside, what will they have to do to bring you back? Also, let me know in the comment section below. And again, once I am finished updating all my build guides for Last Epoch for 0.8.2, which comes out on Monday, I'm going to do a full kind of updated review on what the state is of Magic Legends. So look for that video in the future. But that's all I've got today. If you have not joined the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're approaching 900 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Maybe you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.